Welcome to the From Concealment Podcast, the show for firearm enthusiasts who like to shoot, train, carry, and compete. Get ready for some shooting and sight, firearm and accessory reviews, and of course, insight on concealed carry. And now, broadcasting from behind enemy lines in the From Concealment studio, it's Pete Mitchell and Dan Sams. Hey, Freedom Nation. Welcome to the From Concealment Podcast. I am your co-host, Pete Mitchell, along and here with Dan Sams. There we Dan. go. <laughs> I jumped the gun. Go. No, that's cool. That's <laughs> cool. And uh, this week's episode is being brought to you by Fast OC. And I want to encourage you to uh, head on over to fastoc.com. If you are in Southern California, want to do some training, maybe you want to do one of their handgun challenges. Doesn't really matter to me, but... Uh, Head on over to Fast OC. You'll see me at the handgun challenges. In fact, by the time this episode airs, we will have just completed uh, the last one for the year because that's coming up. For me, it's coming up. For you guys, it will have already been in the past, and that's the 27th of December. I'm looking nice. forward to it, I think, as I mentioned yeah. on one of the last ones. I'm shooting my PCC and my Glock 34. Uh, yeah. First time I'll be running two guns at the at a challenge, so I, I'm really curious i want to see you know the difference yeah. in performance between pcc yeah. and my glock 34 i'm actually really excited to hear about that man like i i want to i want to know what your results are that's i that's gotta imagine far more accurate with the rifle so quicker you know quicker if depending on what they have right because i don't know yet yeah. so like if they've got like a, a texas tree or something that's moving uh, you know, I could see the rifle just being the ultimate for that. Yep. But I'm so quick with the pistol, right? Getting it out of the, the holster, getting on target. I, mm -hmm. I shoot that the most. So I don't know, right? I'm really curious. Yeah. I want to know. This is why I'm interesting, man. That, yeah. I'm interested. It's cool. Yeah. No, that'll be awesome, man. Yeah, so you got to let me know. It. Oh, dude. Let me know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll, yeah. I'll definitely. And again, uh, guys, you got to understand when I go up against the fast OC guys, if I am in the top half, I consider that a win for the day. Yeah. There are, there are other competitions where if I'm not in the top three, I'm pissed, but this one <laughs> is not that these guys are good. They are, they That's are awesome. real shooters. So yeah. So I'm looking Heck forward. yeah, man. Yeah. Very cool, man. Well, I'm excited. I am. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. Well, and I won't be headed out for my trip yet. So you gotta, you gotta send me a message. Let me know how you did. That'd What's cool. your trip? Oh, oh, you're. No, that's I'm. Trip. I'm going down to Florida, man. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Where I can't fly with my gun or anything that bums me out. It Why feels not? weird. I well, I mean, I could. It's just that it's going to be a headache. I'm. I'm doing almost no check it's bags, actually, man. Is it not going to be that bad? You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say it's not because it's Florida, and you're coming <laughs> from true. Ohio. So I'm saying no. It's going to be a breeze. You should just literally check the gun, yeah. and take it. So, do you think Disney has any rules about, yes, like, you know? there's no way you're getting it into Disney. 100% <laughs> not me. happening there. See, that's my thing. How about at my hotel, you think? What about my hotel? You think oh, you're hotel? good in the hotel. You're good in the All hotel. Right. You're good in the car. You're good until you park the car. It's yeah. when they make you walk through the metal detectors, that's when you're not going to. That's exactly, yep. Oh, well, I'm, I, I'll figure it out. I might end up flying with it. I just feel weird now without it. Like I, Me like, too. That's the thing. Like yeah. We went to Knott's Berry Farm uh, on Saturday for a little – my wife wanted to see the Christmas decorations. And I know I can't take it into Knott's Berry because they either wand you or make you walk through a metal detector. But, dang, if I don't take it on the five miles from my doorstep to theirs, I'm like, I don't yeah. care. And I just leave it in the car and yeah, dude. go in, enjoy the set place leave and then put it back on right on man right. yeah one well, i'm 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 to the point where like there are certain places that i'm like eh, if they're not gonna check me i'm just i'd rather rather stay strapped <laughs> so with disney they're gonna check me but a lot of oh, these absolutely. places like 100%. the only thing that i'm like i'm i'm not really comfortable doing that is like a bank where i'm like that's gonna that's gonna get me in more trouble than it's gonna be a big hassle if why do they check you at a something. bank they don't check, they don't check me they, they don't check me but i'm like if i did get caught with one i feel like that would get me in more trouble Maybe i don't not. know about your state but it's not illegal here in california to take it really to a bank. Yeah. Oh, well, dude. But here's here's the problem with taking it into a bank. What happens if you take a gun into a bank and that happens to be the one time someone robs the place you're and then you got the ground and they find your your gun cuz everyone who's like, "Oh, I'd stop the robbery." First of all, if you want to take the bank's money, freaking take it. 
I'm not shooting you and I'm not getting shot over yeah. the bank's FDIC insured cash. Exactly. Don't yeah. care. Yeah. The second you aim your gun at me or my kid, that's when we got that's a problem. Exactly. Yeah. As long as nobody is getting hurt, I'm like, whatever. Like it's, it's not even real money anyway. It hasn't been since whatever, 1913. You Don't know, get me started. This is, this is actually the part Travis who listens to the, my assistant who does all the editing and stuff. He goes, yeah, when you guys start getting on the political stuff, that's when I actually enjoy that podcast because he's not into awesome. guns. He's not, so. This is great. Oh, well, then I got to tell you this, man. This is a side. We got to get into our topic in a second. But um, I'm in the Apple store trying to get my phone fixed. Long story. And I just sit down and, um, you know, where they set you next to the Genius Bar. And there's this lady like, yeah, she's probably early 60s. And she's sitting down next to me and she's like, man, it's a little warm in here. And as soon as she says that, the air conditioner comes on and starts, and she's like, I feel it blowing on me. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, she's like, that's weird. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe Apple's just that good. And she's like, yeah, she's like, I'm kind of creeped out. So she starts talking about like, they're listening to everything. And I'm like, yeah, she's like, I think that, I think that Snowden, that's Edward Snowden. I think he might've had a point. And I'm like, Are you yes. think he might've had a point? <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, <gasps> a disciple. And so, you know what? I start talking, I'm like, well, yeah, you know, and then there's all the stuff the government does. And I, I mentioned, like, I think I mentioned Operation Northwood and she's like, what is this? And I'm like, oh my gosh. And she's eating up everything. And I'm like, yes, let me tell you. And so we're talking about MK Ultra. We're talking about, and I'm like, you can like look this up. Like this is FBI declassified. Go check it out. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is a conspiracy fact. And right. she's like, thank you. I mean, she gets out a notepad. She's like, I, I know I need to learn about this. This is, thank you so much. And I'm like, you're welcome. Dude, that's so comedy. it was, it was awesome. So yeah. Well, another disciple was made in the, uh, in the freedom nation there. I love so, it, good man. stuff. I love yeah, it. you want to talk you want to talk about our topic today, man? Yeah, go for it. All right, so we thought everybody that we would get in and talk just about dream guns. So guns that are either uh they're they're a dream gun. It doesn't have to be practical. It doesn't have to be the best gun in the world. It's your dream gun. It's um maybe it has zero practical value for you, but it's just cool. Or maybe it's amazing and it does have practical value, but it's the dream gun that maybe you do have it or maybe you don't have it yet because of either finances or legality or something else, but we're thinking top five dream guns. So Pete, I'm going to kick it off. Go for it. And I'm going to go with a complete, complete frivolous. I don't need it, but it would be amazing. And that is a Thompson 45 Ooh. submachine gun. Talking full auto. You I'm talking a little world war two uh, in you. Yeah, man. Well, so first of all, I have now had the, benefit of shooting a 45 it wasn't a thompson but a 45 full auto and um you know there's there's something awesome about it there's just it's just beautiful and um i'm just thinking about like a thompson the cool look of world war ii being able to just spray that thing put a big old hundred round drum on the thing <clears throat> it's just awesome looking cool you know it's world war ii it's gangster it's everything it's amazing i'm thinking thompson submachine gun I like that's it. my that's that's my that's my first pick my my yeah. number one pick on my list of dream guns <sighs> did you ever see the movie predator yeah well like parts like parts of it it was kind of before my time but it's amazing i know i know it's i know it's amazing. that's why that's why yeah. i'm like asking the question i know about it the so, gatling yeah. gun that homeboy oh, yes. has yes. when he just <laughs> mows down the jungle yeah man that oh, right there, yeah. that's my dream gun. Yeah. Absolutely no purpose in life other than to mow down yeah, man. everything in front of you. Yeah. Oh, and you're like, oh, I want to chop down that tree. Or maybe I will saw it down with bullets. There you yeah. go. That's what I'm talking about. That's man. That's yeah. got to be my number one dream gun <laughs> Yeah, right there. Heavy as I it love is. It. What is it like uh, six thousand rounds a minute? I don't even know, but that's what it's I want. It's right crazy, now. but that would be amazing. Really oh, be. that's that's a good one. That's man, I gotta tell you, like you're you're thinking right on this, man. Because my next one, um, I was gonna go with a Barrett fifty cal. Oh, nice. Because um, that and here's the thing, that's a dream gun that's within reach. I mean, yep. they're expensive, but they're not ridiculous. They're not like you know mortgage your house they're not expensive. legal in california but hey for uh, you yeah. guys in free states there we you can go. get them now it's going to cost you whatever 20 20 a round or whatever it is to shoot it but still like we're talking dream guns 
I'm thinking about a Barrett. I mean, you can reach out and touch somebody from a real long way away. Um, Barrett's just awesome. I mean, think about like hitting something. Well, and ultimately, like the Barrett is more of an uh, like an anti-material gun. Like it's like you shoot the blades of a helicopter, you shoot the engine of a vehicle. Like this is a stop a machine gun. Yeah, and um, I want one. I think it'd be awesome. That's I think I need that before my daughter comes of age. When my daughter is about to turn eighteen, that's when I'm like I'm getting a I'm getting a Barrett, and I'm just gonna tell every kid that comes around. Oh yeah. no! You see, here's the deal: when they come over to pick up your daughter. Uh, the girl is never ready anyway, so you exactly. gotta have the the boy come into the house and you go. Oh, come with me out to the garage while we're waiting for Susie to get ready. Exactly. Go out to the garage. That's where they see your everything arsenal, and you have them help you clean your Barrett. Yeah, yeah. And then you just tell oh. them, longest shot I've ever taken is you know uh, uh, seventeen hundred yards. I, I've done there it for a while, baby. Yeah. Oh, and with the Barrett, shoot. I'm like, you could be anywhere in this town and <laughs> I could get you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. So the Barrett is, is that's my next one, man. How about you? What's, what's number two? Number two for me is actually uh, still illegal for me uh, and for most Americans, uh, but a Glock 18. Yes. I really, yes. really want a Glock 18. Uh, I, yes, I do know that it is, uh, you know, about $20 worth of parts to convert any clock you want <laughs> into a clock 18, Yeah, but, uh, I'm not going to do that. Not definitely not here in California. And I mean, come on, it's ATF that you, you, you forget it. Yeah. It's not happening. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't even know of one ever going for sale uh if one went for sale and i lived in a free state i would have to buy it but i'd love a glock 18 again totally yeah. useless oh i don't understand awesome. uh yeah exactly that that's it I, do, I don't understand the purpose at all for an automatic pistol but yet i want one. <laughs> oh. I, well have you ever seen i think it was uh f was it ftp russia did you ever watch that youtube channel I don't know. And it was the guy, he had a fake Russian accent and he was getting a hold of some serious military ordinance like this dude. And I mean, he, one of them, he had a Glock 18 and he, I mean, just having a blast. He's got the, you know, double round drum, you know, right. the, the double drum on it and just spraying these like pop bottles. And it was just beautiful. Um, that like that sold me on Glock 18s when I saw that video. It's yeah. amazing. Actually, if you get the chance, FTP Russia, that dude is interesting because he's from like Alabama, but he made up this fake Russian accent, would test all these guns. And um, he got raided by the ATF, man. They took something like three or $400,000 worth of guns. And he is, um, he's facing jail time. So is more of the story, he, kids. He uh, didn't pay them the tax? Probably. Um, when it was a little funny, like where he was getting these, he had some finder that was getting this stuff for him. And um, I, every time I would watch, I would be like, how, I mean, you're everybody, you see, we're seeing your face. They're going to come for you. Right. And they did. Um, so anyway, though, he's a cool guy. Um, like, I'm like, this is my hero. Yeah. But um, yeah, but no, that was that Glock 18 is awesome, man. I would, I can think of some practical purpose for that. If you just need to spray a room, that's not a bad way to Look, do it. There's no way you're going to convince me that an automatic pistol is in any way <laughs> better than a semi-automatic. Because when you're using a pistol, you got to like calculate your shots because you only got the rounds that are in the gun and that's it. It's not like spray and pray like I can do on a rifle because I'm, you know, just hitting out a hundred yards. What does it, I mean, you know, you got to have a little bit of precision with a pistol and you're not going to do that with a yeah. gun. Yeah. That's true, but I mean, I if love I'm walking one. in, I I'm completely with, love yeah. one. Oh yeah, but if I'm walking into a room that's you know twenty by twenty, and all I gotta do is is wave my hand, and but I'm then like, you're done. I don't know. Then it's immediately it's, I better reload because I'm now out of bullets. This is true. <laughs> you throw it down and you pull the next one. Yeah, it's true. It, it's there's a lot of uh, you better have you know your like. 200 round <laughs> magazine. You, you gotta have your 200 round clip. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm sounding like a freaking retard. Man. Anyway. You, gotta have a, you gotta have a 200 clip magazine or what is it Joe Biden said? Something about like magazines that hold however many clips and I'm like, this is bonkers. Anyway. It's a fully yeah. semi-automatic. <laughs> fully semi-automatic. That video drove me nuts. I could have thrown somebody through a wall watching that CNN video where he yeah. keeps talking about full semi-automatic. Anyway, so, um, 
So as we're talking about Dream Gun still, I'm going to throw Scar 17 on the list. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah. That's mine. Okay. I so the next one for me. So I had an interesting conversation because of, you know, some of the things I've been able to do. I get to sit down with the guy from FN Firearms. Uh, one of the reps comes in and I'm like, all right, dude, sell me, sell me on this thing. Um, like, it sounds great, but sell me on it. And um, he's like, all right, because I'm like, you know, I can do a lot. Like for me as a civilian, I can do a whole lot with, you know, just a really good AR. So why do I need a scar? And he's like, all right. He's like, it's the most tested gun ever. And he starts explaining the like depths of water they tested him to. He's explaining how most of the stuff internally is actually like, you know, like square rather than round. He's like, so everything just fits. There's less jiggling around. Everything just moves perfect. And um, I forget how many rounds they've tested them to. He's like, it's just the most durable, longest lasting gun. There's just, it's just put together in such a way. It's really hard for anything to go wrong. And I'm like, all right. I feel you. So again, we're talking dream gun here. Scar 17, it just does so much. It's so rugged and durable. Now, for a civilian, I can make a really cool AR that's going to do the same kinds of things generally, but it's not going to be in the same level. And if it's going to be, I mean, if we're just going to talk about it, there's no question like the Scar is a better gun. Um, maybe not practical. It's kind of like when you're buying your like drill for your house. You don't need the full-on DeWalt contractor level, whatever. You can get by with your Black & Decker. But, you know, the DeWalt's always going to be better. Anyway, that's, that's, that's mine. Yeah, so that my one next also? one, that was on my list, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my next one is, and we've talked about it before, completely within reach, completely no reason I don't have one other than I just can't justify the expense knowing how expensive it is to shoot and how infrequently I'd get to shoot it, shoot it. But yeah. the uh, model 1895 Marlin 4570. Oh yes. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Man. That's that's it's a gorgeous yeah. gun. I, I really, uh, the big bore baby that that's, that's yeah. the one for me right there. Yeah. I just, I love the look of it. It's just, I can't justify it. I mean, I don't hunt, right? I just shoot. Yeah. So it's like, eh, can I really justify that yeah. expense shooting? Oh, but it's awesome. Oh, I know. Lever actions are awesome. You just made me think of one I probably should have put on the list. Um, so I will tell you, though, in the same kind of realm for me is the Walther Q5 match. Okay. So, um, again, it's not an out-of-reach gun. I mean, it's, I don't know what they're running now. They're like, two or three grand. I think they're they're. I mean, they're an expensive pistol, but they're not like way out of the, you know, I'll never be able to afford that. It's more of like, I don't, I don't need that. I don't go to the, you know, I don't do enough competition shooting. I like, it's not real practical as a carry. I actually thought about getting one for a carry, but I'm like, it's too big. It's not, you know, it's not great for carry, but it's an amazing gun. Um, those things, like all of the guys I know that are, that are getting heavy into this are like, Walther Q5 is my next one. Really? Yeah. A lot of people talking up the Q5. Um, something about the smoothness of it. And I'm, I've watched a dude from what looked like about 50 yards plinking, you know, a 10 inch um, just like all day long. And I'm like, really? it's that accurate? And now I might have been just like some dude who's on the level of like Hickok 45 or something. But this dude was, he was making it happen. And I was pretty impressed. So um, I'm hearing all the good things about it. Um, and it looks cool. It's got a little blue accents on it, but, um, everybody's telling me like, don't even, don't try to do a speed race, you know, build of your own Glock. They're like, you want to do the best shooting you can with the pistol, just get a Walther Q5. And, um, that's intriguing to me. It's what a lot of guys I'm, I'm hearing now. I'm sure somebody else is out there saying something else, but I'm consistently hearing that out here about the Q5. Yeah. 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 So again, I, it's not practical for me. So I'm like, yeah. Um, but one day it's a possible, that one's actually, maybe I shouldn't call that on the dream gun as if it'll never happen. Like that one might end up, I might end up biting the bullet and getting that one eventually. Yeah. So yeah. I would say uh, another dream gun for me, and this is again, uh, something that's totally doable for most States. So yeah. I, I can't get it from a dealer in California and therein lies the problem. You got to buy it yeah. off roster, which means we got to pay a premium on an already really expensive firearm. Yeah. So for me, it would be the STI 2011 in nine millimeter. Yeah, man. I really, oh, yeah. really want a nine millimeter 2011. 
Yeah, uh, dude. I understand it's great in competitions. Um, so were the 40 cals, but uh, I, again, I shoot so much nine. I'm thinking just get the nine. Yeah. Keep it consistent. You know, so I want to buy and making all kinds of different ammo. I'm with uh, you on that. But that and that nine's be, a good round. That would be a, that would be a dream, a dream gun. Yeah. I mean, right now it's going to cost, I mean, last time I looked on uh Cal guns, yeah, maybe $3,500. Uh, I just, you uh, it's, know. it's not crazy. It's no, I mean, it's, it's, that's why I say it's yeah. within the realm, Yeah, but it's still, you know, it's again, you got to find someone who's going to sell theirs cause you can't buy it from a dealer in California Yeah, or you got to ah. have a, a cop buddy buy it, hold on to it and then sell yeah. it to you as a private yeah. transaction. It's a headache, man. Yeah, man. Oh no, that's a good one though. That one's too, that's probably, that's on the same kind of level as the Walter. Like it's, yeah, that's a, it's that's doable. The same kind of, yeah. yeah, totally doable. Yeah, yeah. just I got to go through more more things than the average person because I live in California. Yeah, I live in a, uh, it sucks, man. I got to pray for you more about that, man. That breaks my heart, dude. I'm pray that joking. my wife will let me leave this horrid state. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, man. Yeah, no. So I am. Um, I'm trying to think what all, all else. Everybody hears me talk about the the Q Honey Badger. Um, and it is, it's in a, it's, it's up there for me, but as far as dream guns go, like that's just a really cool doable gun. Um, right. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure I'd put that in the dream gun category. Um, I would maybe jump over to the, uh, the bad tanker, which is the same kind of gun in the 300 blackout. That's just tricked out and all the like walnut and it looks really cool. Um, yeah, those, those are up there for me. I might, I might be picking that bad tanker mostly for style over that. But, um, yeah, man, those are, those are probably my top five there. I've got a whole lot more I could always talk about, but those are, you know, my, my next one, um, and this will be my, my final one that I'll, I'll leave here. Uh, again, most people in most States are going to find these to be ridiculous, but you got to understand, I don't live in a free state. I live in Mm -hmm. a communist state. You know, I've got a dictator, uh, ruling over me. Not a lot of of options I've got. (laughs) And, uh, but for me, it would be my, my absolute favorite firearm that I had pre, uh, I think it was July 1st of, I don't know, 2017 or 2018, whenever they changed the law. Uh, and I, sorry, that was me. Nice. Nice. (laughs) Sorry about that. Pete. Go ahead. Keep talking. I want to hear when I could no longer have my 80% uh, AR-15 pistol without registering it with the state, and then they started confiscating them because they're like, well, those aren't on the roster, yeah. as if uh, any 80% is on the roster, Yeah, which is ridiculous. So That's I just destroyed ridiculous. mine was like, forget it. I don't want to deal with this. Uh, but I would have an AR-15 pistol again. I, yeah, and it probably, you know, it's cousin. I would have an AK pistol as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, yep. why not, right? Since why I can't not? have a short barrel shotgun, I'm, I, we can't have any NFA items in California. Gah! So it's like I'll never be able to get a short barrel uh, uh, rifle. Oh, man. So, yeah. You know, you know so I'm going to agree with you on that, that those um, – and again, these are things that are within the realm of possibility for me. But I'm thinking more of a, a short barrel AK than ever. Um, really? Because, like, well, like, just the – the freaking coolness of an AK. Yeah. And, um, I have, I have that RPK. That's so, like, it's just so long and heavy. And I'm like, to be able to just go bang all the time and never have to worry about anything going wrong ever. And to be able to do that in something that's like sleek and short, I'm like, mm, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. And so it's, and, um, we're, when we're talking about close range, I'm like, I'm not that worried about being able to pull it on. Cause the recoil on an AK is, far more noticeable than in the AR, uh, at least in my experience. I, um, I just feel like I feel every round, whereas on my AR, I mean, it just feels like it's smooth. The, the magic of a buffer tube, man, it just seems like that buffer tube just slows all that out. And it really? feels like it's on my AR, I've got, and some of it's the type of compensator I have on the front, but like it just stays level. So even what, what little bit I'm feeling is so level, whereas lifting up my AK wants to lift. And, um, so then it's harder to keep on target. It's the whole thing. So, but if I'm short range, I'm like, man, just AK all the way for the fun of it. So, yeah. 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 No, I, I mean, I've only put maybe 40 rounds, 60 rounds, maybe down range through an AK. So I honestly don't remember 
the difference yeah. between the AR and the AK at all. Yeah. I mean, neither one of them were like massive kicks. Oh all, yeah. Yeah. So. None of them. It's, it's not, it doesn't hurt you. You're not, you're not talking crazy. It's just for, from the, from the perspective of being able to really hold it on. Dude, okay, I feel so like I'm having an easier time with the AR. I inherited uh, some guns from my grandfather and one of the ones that, that I inherited was a model 94 32 special Winchester special. Oh, and so it looks just like a 30, 30, but it was made like before they really converted to 30, 30. And so it was like, yeah, a couple of years, they, they did a lot of these 32 Winchester specials. So I bought some ammo for it. I was like, man, I'm finally going to take it to the range. I mean, it is, it shoots to the right about two inches. So like, I, I, I have no idea why it's shooting to the right <laughs> that much. So yeah. I like I gotta, you know, I gotta really aim on the, the left side of the target to, to get center mass. I'm not kidding. I only went through 60 rounds and the next day bruised and yellow. Yeah, man. My shoulder. It was just, it yeah. was, it was gnarly. That thing had so much push to it. Like, it, <laughs> it just hurt. After a while, I was like, that's it. I cannot shoot this gun anymore. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah. It's awesome. But yeah, that's, yeah. Just like and people want to take away the AR 15. And I'm like, dude, are you <laughs> kidding me? This thing has way more power. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up, man. Oh, yeah. No, that's, I tell you what, there's something though about firing a gun like that. We're like, you feel it and you're like, we're doing this. You smell that gunpowder. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Thankful for my modern guns, but that stuff is cool. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. Man, I tell you, there's, I got invited. So December 31st, I got invited to uh, to go to this private range, private outdoor range. And uh, supposedly it's going to be a hundred yards. So I'm like, dude, all right, I'm, I'm going to zero yeah. everything at a hundred yards. I'm, I'm bringing nice. it all. I'm, I'm bringing yeah, everything. Man. And, um, and it was funny because I got invited like a year and a half ago, these same guys. I only knew one guy. Right. And so I show up, I literally, I back my car up, open the trunk and it's like just loaded with everything. And the guy's like, Pete, this isn't the gun show. And I'm like, dude, no, no, no. This is the gun show. This yes, is the is. real gun show. This is my gun show. That's right. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I'm going to, I'm going to be zero on everything at a hundred. Nice, man. That's when that's it. no range oh, safety officer. You can do what you want, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's right. Like, what do we want? Let's do it. <laughs> be like, Hey man, you stand out there. I'm going to shoot the target. You stand to the side. Just see how close I get. Put your finger next to it so I can know. No, don't do that. Maybe not quite that bad, but still, <laughs> it's going to be fun. So, I'm going to do some shooting tomorrow. I have a friend of mine who is coming, is from California. He moved here a few months ago, and um, he hasn't gotten to shoot in a while. And I think he's been a little, like, not anti-gun, but just kind of away from guns. And he actually brought up, like, we could go shooting. And I was like, yes, yes, we can. And, um, yeah, it's going to be good fun. We're going to take him shooting tomorrow morning. Where's Christmas he from Eve. in California? San Francisco. Oh, dude, he was anti-gun. Well, so here's the interesting. He's from here, but he you lived didn't know how anti-gun he was. <laughs> there you go. So now he's back, and it was like you know the first time I'm hanging out with his family, and I'm like, "So you like guns? You build AR-15s?" And he's like, "AR-15s?" And I'm like, "Yeah, they're awesome." <laughs> so like tomorrow, all it takes, man, it's you got to just he's just got to shoot it once. Everybody I've known that's been anti-AR, I took him out to the range. They fired it once, and they're like, "Oh." now i see what you're talking about i'm like yeah man and then they're with me It'd yeah be good it's good well, it's funny there's a great meme that i saw again on uh facebook and it was some congressman and he's like holding an ar-15 uh, and he's like oh, i just picked up a new gun or something like that and so someone goes why did you get that specific you know firearm or something like that and he goes oh i don't know uh, reliability, uh, ergonomically great, uh, lightweight, uh, I mean, tried and true. I mean, it was like, all right, it's if you really awesome. want another reason, here's the reason it's, it's yeah. perfect. It's a perfect firearm. That's why <laughs> I've, I love that, man. I've done similar when people are like, Oh, would you hunt with an AR 15? And I'm like, Oh, absolutely. If they allowed me to hunt with an AR, that would be great. <laughs> you know, right. I just don't know where to go with that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Good times, man. Yeah. So what are you doing? What are you doing this range day, man? 31st, December 31st. Awesome. awesome. Well, have yeah. fun with that, man. It's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, man, I'm going to see if I can borrow some steel targets. Yeah, uh, man. I'm, I want to take everything I can up there because this is, 
I mean, yeah. first of all, you got to be a member at this club to be able to get a private range and, and then you got to have at least five people come. Cause then, you know, there's a per person fee to the range. I'm like, oh, man. So it's, it doesn't make any sense for me to buy a membership there. Cause I, I'll never be able to get a private range. It just won't work. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you get the invite. I'm in You're baby. Doing it. Yeah. I'm in. Hopefully you'll be able to borrow some steel targets and yeah. It'd be some awesome. watermelons. Some, some. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I'd never, never shoot any steel cord ammo there. Never. That's not going to happen. <laughs> of course. Officer. <laughs> That's right. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. This is all natural. This is 100% natural. It's all lead. 100%. 100%. Everyone's happy with this ammo. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, good stuff. Well, have a good time, man. And well, I mean, people are going to be listening to this after Christmas, but Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We're going to have a good good time here shooting here at the end and of the year. And you have a great time at Disneyland yourself. I will. It'll be a bummer that they don't have shooting down there, but um, we'll have a good time. It'll still Are be you good. just like me when you go and you do, you know how they have like the laser shooting with the, the old rifles and stuff mm -hmm. and the ghost town? Are you like me where you get really annoyed that it doesn't freaking hit where you're aiming? You're like, I yep. know how to aim a gun and yep. your gun, your sights are off. What's up? It makes me mad every time. It makes yeah. me furious. I, well, I won't play those games because I'm like, this is stupid. You're cheating um, me. You're stealing yeah. from me. I hate that stuff. Yeah. No, I'm the same way, man. Um, I tell you what's fun, though, is the Toy Story game with the Buzz Lightyear zapper. Oh, yeah. That was a little bit more accurate than you might think. And yeah, it's just a, good. you know, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. It'll be fun times, but I'm most excited right now about shooting. Like at hey, Disney, it's like it's walking around and relaxing. Like I, for fun, I would rather be at the ranch all go. day long. So it's good stuff, man. Well, hey, I will uh, I will close this out here and say, hey, everybody, check out learms.net. We're going to get our um, uh, going to recommend your free downloads, especially for the AR builds. If you're in town, it is almost the end of the year, so this is your last chance to buy whatever gun you want to and have it be a 2019 gun just because you need to get a certain number of guns in a year to keep your man card and um, come out to Lake Erie Arms in Huron, Ohio, up here on the lake, and we will see you there. All right. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week. See you later. You've been listening to the From Concealment Podcast with Pete Mitchell and Dan Sams. Be sure to tune in next week for more gun talk. Also, check out the From Concealment website for more shooting-related goodness at fromconcealment.com.